Okay, remember guys, just now we had some mutton stock water. So, well, we are going to do mutton rasam with the mutton stock water. And my son Sunil is going to help us today. Isn't that correct, Sunil? Yes. Shall we go through the ingredients? Yes. Okay, come, let's straight through the ingredients. Yes, Sunil, let's go. One, one green chilli. Okay. One tablespoon of pepper. Mm -hmm. One tablespoon of cumin. Okay. One cup coconut milk. Okay. This one is bay leaves. Okay. Curry leaves. Mm -hmm. And three garlic. Mm -hmm. And coriander leaves. This one is actually cinnamon, mm -hmm. cardamom, okay. star anise, mm -hmm. and star anise. That is cloves. That is cloves. Okay, so then what else do we have over here? Over here, we have to put one tablespoon, no, one tablespoon of chili powder. Yes. This one, you have to, the coriander powder, you have to put actually half tablespoon of coriander powder. Okay, and we finally, what food, food will not taste good without salt, right? So we right. still need salt, salt to taste. Taste. And yes, the mutton and stock we had cooked earlier. Okay, so come, let's see how to do this. Okay, for the mutton rasam, we need to take the pepper, cumin and three garlics and pound it nicely. Am I correct, Sunil? Yes. Okay, show them how do you pound. How do I pound it like this? Okay. And so, this one is very popular in South, in Asia. In Asia, okay. So he's using a traditional pestle and mortar to actually pound the ingredients together. Okay, we have preheated the pot with some oil. Okay, Sunil, you would like to put in the aromatics Yes, um, this one. Everything. Gloves, bay leaves, everything, Sunil. Okay. Okay. Add in curry leaves. green chili you must be very careful when you cook it because it, it can maybe hurt you yeah. now we pour the mutton stock to the pot Mix it together. Okay. Add in the pounded ingredients, please. Thank you. Okay. Maybe you like to take in a tablespoon and then put it in. Easier for you? Yeah, sure. Mm. Okay, can we mix everything together? Yes. Thank you. Now we add one tablespoon of chili powder. Add in Sunil. Then we will add in half tablespoon of coriander powder. Okay. Okay, that's in the, that's sufficient. Yes. Sorry. Okay. 
Okay. You can pass the spoon and the powder to Kaka. Okay, mix it all together. Until all the powder is mixed properly. Wow, I can smell the mutton and the spices. It just smells so good. Mm, very nice. How does it smell, Sona? It smells so delicious. Mm. My son's reaction is very good. Okay. Now, we add in one cup of coconut milk. Now, we add one cup of coconut milk. Come on, Sona, put it in. Okay, when you put in coconut milk, your fire should be in low fire. Okay, reduce it. Yes, thank you. Okay. Add in 250 ml of water. 250 ml of normal water. Yep, normal water. Since we have added coconut milk, okay, the fire should be on low fire all the way through. But you can take your time doing the rasam. Yep, but do not let it boil. Okay, rasam, you should never let it boil, okay? Add in salt. Salt. Okay, when we cooked the mutton earlier, we have already added in salt. So right now, we just add in about a teaspoon of salt will do. This much. A little bit more, Sonia. A little bit more. Okay, mix it together. You can take out the spoon. Thank you. Okay. okay, the rasam is now done. Give it about five minutes or so. It will be fully cooked. Um, I will show you a photo of the finalized product later. Bye!